Alright guys, welcome back to The Witness. Where we're gonna frolic through flowers, and so on. I don't even know where, where, what this thing's going to become, I haven't even started looking at it yet. Oh, uh, by the way, uh... If you leave comments, and I fail to respond to them, or interpret them, or whatever, for a long time, it's mostly because we're like, I'm recording these like six to eight videos ahead of what you guys are seeing. I try to have a little bit of a buffer, but also pace it a certain way so that there's consistent output and everything. And so I don't suddenly stop uploading. But, uh, it also helps me keep ahead of your spoilers sometimes, because some people just try to say stuff all the time and like, Aha! I actually solved that in the next episode, but if I had actually stopped there and I was actually... And you guys were caught up with me, you'd be spoiling things for me, you dick. But that hasn't really been much of an issue so far, because... I've been ahead. What in the world? So there's a greenhouse under all the flowers. There's a bunch of hanging plants here with their roots all splayed out. Interesting. It's all in colored light. Why is it- why the green light, though? You don't want to put plants in green light because plants reflect green for the most part. Unless I'm going to go inside there and find out that all those plants are red or something. That was actually the first science project I ever did in elementary school, was I put a bunch of, uh... I took a bunch of different plants and put a little, uh, piece of colored plastic on, on them to filter the, uh, color of the light going into them. I can't actually go down there from here, can I? I need an alternate path through all this columnar jointing. But, uh, I found that green was not an effective color for growing plants in it, which... For relatively obvious reasons when you think about it, because of the whole way that they reflect that color. This might be like the treehouse, where I need to go find an alternate way in. Uh, that seemed to loop, right? I didn't, I didn't miss anything? Yeah, oh, there's a whole path down. Okay, let's go down our columnar joining path. Columnar jointing! That goes exactly where I'm thinking. Where does this go, then? That's the bamboo forest. Okay. And this... Might just be an alternate path towards the top. Ooh. Rushing water. This is cool. Oh man, that sounds great. That's a really satisfying sound to walk through. There's the castle. There is a path coming up here. Ooh. I was just thinking maybe we can come up behind that- no, the temple. The other side of the temple we went through, I think, is over by the bamboo forest, so that'll be later. This is a whole area to explore at some point, though. Let's get back to the flower. I just wanted to take a look around a little bit. Let's get back to that flower spot. Ooh. Wow. I'm sorry, there's a lot of visuals that you just want to pause at and take a look at for a while. Alright, we have a lot of winding roads, and I've just been... Accustomed to thinking that winding roads tend to be paths you click on at some point. We'll have to see. Anything around? So a lot of people have been very amused by how I say windmill, because I keep saying windmill over and over again. I will admit it is not a word that is in my vocabulary very often. I don't exactly encounter them. And I was just saying that over and over again without a second thought. And that's what happens when there's- that's the, the thing about doing Let's Plays, recording them in advance, and, uh, doing them alone, is that, uh, there's no one there to notice- to react in the moment. It's, it's both good and bad, in different ways. This one's basic. Just segregate some colors. Like... This. And that's really all I have to do. Yeah, just seg segregate all of them and you're fine, in this case. One of the- Aside from weird pronunciation stuff, the biggest thing, actually, is that, uh... People- it's weird getting delayed reactions to when I say something and finding out that, Oh, that was actually really funny, but I didn't th give it a second thought in the moment, because no one was there to laugh. We have a red area now. I wonder if the windows are that color, or if the whole room's that color. Red is a decent color for growing plants, though, if I remember correctly. That's a good one. Alright. Are we just making sure that we know how, how colors work? As in the part where you don't want them to touch, by doing this. Alright. Purple, green. Yep, just separate all the colors. This is their final test to make sure that I definitely know what's going on. And also to confuse me a little bit. Uh, there we go. Got it. Alright. 
Here we go. Yeah, one of my one of my disappointments in the comments was actually the fact that uh, people were already pretty quick to start spoiling how the the little nuclear looking symbol works. Uh, the moment I encountered it, they were immediately like, "I'm going to tell you how this mechanic works," and immediately spoil it the way I told you, that you just told me not to spoil it a few, like a, a video ago. Thankfully, I'm I'm so far past that point by the time that video actually went up, so they couldn't spoil it for me in, in genuine. But I'm disappointed in you guys. I thought we I thought we could have a little agreement. Let's see here. Like that. Oh. Yeah. Got it. So many colors. Wait, can I just go up and down a lot? Yeah. Alright. This one might be slightly harder. Because I have to go across, kind of. Is that... Not quite... This, this is so close, but no, there's a few colors still combined. Part of me wants to do this, basically. Just to cut the blues off. But those, those uh, in the middle, they are, they're still the same color. Causing me some problems. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Nope. We're very close here. No, we're not. The, even the yellows are still attached. Dang nabbit. Alright, uh... How to separate them without getting in the way. I'm curious. It's very easy to separate the yellow from the tan. And it's very easy to separate the red from the, the blue. But it's not easy to do both, necessarily. Let's see. If I go this way, that mostly gets the job done, but not quite. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, yeah, I'm a little confused here. How do I go about separating you guys from each other while still enabling myself to do something like this to cut you guys apart? All right, I think I've got it. So if we loop around both these, then go across. There we go. I was like halfway there early. Oh, oh! I just noticed that the uh, I just noticed the mazes are in 3D. I noticed, noticed it here. You can see them stick out at the angle. They're all off center like that. So the maze that they were clicking on is sticking out physically from the board, which has a like a graph paper grid that just has the splotches of paint directly on them. So as you go at an angle, you can see them overlap. I can only really tell it here because there was actually a restricted amount of space for them to be in in the first place. Ah, uh, So close, but those two colors are together. Oh man, how do I... I imagine it involves looping them around, but how do I separate specifically that color? Can I specifically... Try to loop around something? Okay. There's, a, there's something very interesting about trying to separate uh, several things to get away from each other by only drawing one continuous line. Because it, it does ultimately mean that each separation involves going against a wall at some point. In order to please everybody. Oh man, I can, I can, I can feel like I can come so close here. Oh, hey. That's the clue. Make the two tan ones go together and you have a continuous line. And here I thought I might have to pause and stare at it for a little while, but no, that one just needed a set another moment. Can I click on you from here? Cannot click on it through the yellow. So these colored uh, lights... Oh, it is just glass. Alright. That confirms that. Also, is that a graphical glitch? That's uh, like a red piece of board right there. Oh no! In a game that's so metic- in a game that's so meticulous, any little glitch like that stands out so much. So never mind, all these glasses are- this, this is just colored glass, but the light source is not coming from within the- th coming through the glass. Is there a puzzle here? Those are the three colors that we were doing in the puzzle, right? Yeah. I don't see something swipe- Oh, That looks pretty swipeable, but it would inv you'd have to put a solid color behind the, uh... You can probably do this, but this has to be a solid color. 
You might be able to close that while you're inside. Maybe if you can see the uh, puzzle from outside the window or something. Let's see, anything else here? That's the collapsed uh, ceiling we saw. There's some purple. Nope. Not seeing much going on here. Let's move forward for now. I should check the floor more often for audio tapes too. Did I check behind the plants? I'm trying to be more thorough with the audio tapes because I do miss them on a regular basis. And it's kind of a bummer. But they're so tiny. Hey you! Alright! Welcome to my nightmare. Oh man. Yeah, no big deal. Just separate every color perfectly. How could you- how could that not be easy for you? <laughs> oh man. I can't even consistently cover, uh, separate some of the colors. This is no... minor feat. Huh. These ones are tough. This is surrounded by two different colors, which means you have to edge around like that to separate it. There's no other way. It can't be- you can't come around with two different... beams. Alright. So, if we take for a fact that this has to go around like this, around the brown, your only remaining direction is to go across the top and then loop around this, because once you touch this brown, you have to be looping around it to win, otherwise it's not going to get separated. So, I'm going to come to the assumption that what I just did up here is the end of the level, then. This is how the level ends. So, working backwards from there, I wish I could just draw the line backwards from right here, because I started intuiting that. Let's just do that. Do, 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 right here. So you have to go down from there. And then from there, I would say logically you have to be going across. You probably have to be going across, yeah. Because otherwise, how do you get away from going straight into the origin again? At that point, you probably go... T oh, that's tough. If I go right, then the green and the orange, purple can't... If I go right, the green and purple can't be separated. And then if I go... down, the cyan and purple, or magenta, cannot be separated. So how do you... so... Re that means that realistically you have to go like this. Down. Okay, but if I go down like that, to cover both those angles... How do I then separate the green from the blue? Is there a puzzle here where some of the colors play nice or something? Like if I loop around... That doesn't work. If I loop around like green and cyan... Whoa... Okay. I literally guessed the solution based on almost nothing. Whoa... Are we doing a color blending puzzle? Okay, so... Apparently... Cyan and green, good. Magenta and red, good. Blue and... Brown? Gray? Good? So maybe you're grouping similar colors? I'm sorry, I solved that completely on accident. I'm just trying- just gotta stare at this a little bit. I was trying to figure out a perfect path to separate everything, and then just dumbly guess, like, what if green and blue were together? Because I, I came to the conclusion that the puzzle seemed at first glance, impossible based on the rules I was doing. And I guess that was true, because the rules were not what I thought they were. Okay, let's take a look around. Blue and green. Were those together before? No. Okay. Was I supposed to find out that these two colors actually play nice together? They don't, do they? Let's find out. Do -do 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 -do. Oopsie. Because those are two similar colors too. Nope, those are those two similar colors do not play nice together. Alright, so let me resolve this really quick for the sake of satisfaction. So what is that? Tan and yellow? Alright, let's think about color wheels then. What is good about blue and green? A green is a secondary color mixed of blue mixed with uh with yellow. But there's also a dark blue. So it's light blue and light green. Dark blue and dark yellow? Brown? And these colors. Well, at the very least we know that those colors play nicely together, so these ones can be looped together, for example. And maybe these ones? They got mad at me? Alright. 
Well, I already know the solution to this one. Hey, you. Oh, is the shelf what I learned off of? Uh... Green and purple. Green, purple, and light blue. So am I supposed to think that purple... But that's purple and... What does this thing say? Green and purple. Green and purple. The cyan doesn't change it dramatically, does it? Are certain things supposed to look different through this? Are they all the... They all look kind of slightly more cyan. Maybe those ones look the same now? Let's see. Maybe the solution's up here. Purple, red. Okay, so, those colors over there. We have the gray, we have the light blue color, the dark blue color, and the purple. If I look them th through them through the yellow lens, they become still light blue colored, but then the purple becomes red, and the blue becomes black. So maybe that's why purple and red are together, and blue and black are together. So it's an environmental observation puzzle, that's why the, the clue didn't make sense. And that's... Still kind of gray looking, uh, pink and blue. So pink and blue. Pink, purple, red, blue, black. Pink, purple, pink, purple, and red can go together, blue and black can go together. So these could be good together, and those can be good together. But I don't think that we can put red, I don't think we can put green with that stuff, so let's separate that real quick. Getting myself in some trouble here. Alright, uh, I can just loop around here a little bit. No. Alright, I need an effective way of separating... Not quite working here. What? I was on the wrong channel. Okay, so I thought these colors... These color changed the light. I thought that was my key, but... These change colors. Wow. Wow. The colors are just a lie? So black and blue go together, so we just need to separate... We just need to do this, basically, right? Nope. Well, so much for that. Maybe that's not the solution. What'd that look like? That's white and yellow crossed. On the far left one, I combine white and yellow, and I combine blue and gray, right? So what's wrong with that one? It's yellow, blue, gray. Blue and gray was good together, right? Is it the ratio? Does the color change again here? That's the solution. There are three colors. Oh shit. There are so many weird colors to look at these through. How do you know which one's the correct one, though? I mean, I know which one's correct now because this one's solved already, but how would you know that this isn't the color you're gonna use? Or that those aren't... That, 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 I guess that was a red herring. Maybe I was just supposed to know that it was changing color, but not know, not think that that was the key to the color changes? Alright. So there are four segments. Oh no, that puts me in the same territory though, because in the first place I was stuck because there was four segments. Things have not necessarily gotten any better. I'm still... <laughs> those are the four sets of things I was trying to figure out how to separate from each other anyway. And is this not, is this color not valid? Make it three separate layers? Can I not do that? So I cut off this color. There we go. There we go. Blue and one... Jesus Christ. <laughs> there were so many elements... I'm, I'm a little iffy on this puzzle. It seems like a cool concept, but there's so many different colors to stare at it through that it's hard to figure out, like, stare at it through this, this lens, and this lens, or try to figure out what's going on with these colors, like, there's, or what's going on with those colors, like, there's... In a wordless game, there's a lot of, uh, things that you could have looked at as potential things par related to the solution. Alright, well, that's utter chaos. That still looks pretty impossible. Let's see, looking at how this works, yeah. I'm gonna say as a general rule when finding which one thing goes with what, whenever you see three colors together, 
like you see right there in the middle there, that means it's unsolvable. So you need to look at it through something else. That's still three colors together though. Shit. Not getting much better, is it? Because yeah, that's a... Uh... Yeah... When you have a when you have a four-way junction that has three different colors, there's no way to separate all three of them because of the co the system of how this game handles corners. Oh, do I do I combine them? Oh my god, you combine them. You combine them. All right, so the three in the middle. Let's see. So loop like this. Got it. Holy shit. Alright, well. Now, I think I've... Uh, judging by how fast that solution went, I think I'm now, uh... Hooked in. So I think I understand what's going on now. In a... More functional way I can use. Oh my god. They all look the same. They all look the same. Does this change the color in here? It exposes them to open air. And suddenly you have three colors. Okay. And that's impossible. So now we do it again? Was there an opportunity to look at something out there? Can I die by, walk by standing there and get my head squeezed off? And now this one's possible. Dear Lord, this got crazy. Okay. So now we can open and close windows on these storage sheds to change the colors around here of everything. Are there streaks to drag around? That, that ended a knob? Does not end in a knob. Trying to look around for mazes real quick because I haven't been looking that thoroughly. I've been so focused on what was going on there. I got really stuck for a while. <laughs> 